to fold an umbrella decoration or candy gift um, bag sort of thing. What you do, um, you can use any size piece of paper. This is a 12 by 12 sheet of scrapbook paper that's white and it's got printing on the back. Um, and this size is huge. Um, this wouldn't be for like a little nut cup party favor, but this would be more for a whole decoration. Like to hang from the ceiling or a ceiling fan or something. It would be really cute. Anyway, so with the face, the, the pattern, the side that you um, like, have that facing you, fold the paper in half, turn it and fold it in half again. This white side will be the inside of the umbrella. Then from corner to corner, we'll do a diagonal fold. Get my corners nice and sharp. And then we'll fold it the other way, corner to corner, diagonally. Like so. Now turn it over and we have these folds here. We need another fold, one right directly in between each of these folds. Okay, I want to uh, kind of hold this point here and then this fold that um, goes through, not the corners, but the side. I want this fold to match with this fold that does go to the corner. So this one to this one, I want to line up and I want that to go right through the center point. So here's the fold line right here. And I'm gonna line up with this fold line. So it makes a straight line. And here's the center point. So I can make that crease, crease it all the way through. So we have our first middle fold. Now we need one, two, three more. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Find that middle point of my paper. I'm gonna match this fold, line it up with this one, with that center point right there in the middle. Here's that fold line right there. And I'm gonna line up with this fold line. So that's a straight line with the two folds. And I've got it lined up with my center point. Now I can just fold it all the way across. Now I'm gonna match this fold line. I'm gonna fold it this way to match this fold line with this fold line to make the fold here. Finding that center point. Here's the fold line. Make, match it up with that one and that center point crease and then do it all the way across. We have one more right here. So I want to match this fold line with this one, put them together. That center point. Here's my fold line. I have it go straight, they're matching the center point, we're good, make that crease, like so. Now what we have is kind of like a fan fold, but it's starting from the center to do the umbrella. The four corners, I want to fold in, but I want it to go right to that fold edge right there and this fold edge right here. Those two edges, that's how far I'm going to fold this down. Okay. No, oh, I can come down a little more. Like that. So I'm going to fold this corner 
to, toward the inside, right to that edge, and right to this fold edge right there. Now I can start gathering these in and I'm just going to sharpen up these fold lines. And there we have our umbrella. Okay, with two Chanel pipe cleaner things. I'm going to twist them together and I'm just going to use two just to make it stronger to hold the umbrella. Just kind of lightly twist them. Um, from one end to the other. Then, you want to just make a really, really small, small, teeny tiny hole in the tip of the umbrella. Probably can't even see it. It's so small. Then take the pipe cleaner. And poke it through about couple of inches and then I'm just gonna make a little top knot just by bending it and not actually making a knot just doing a kind of like a spiral up here at the top I'll pull it back down that's just to hold it in place like that and then the other end I'm going to with this uh, wire poking out of the bottom. I'm just going to fold it up so that it's not going to poke you. Fold it in half like that and now we'll do a curve for the umbrella handle like so and then we need a paper punch And you'll open it up and you'll punch a hole on either side of the fold lines that's the edge is straight. So you can see that this edge is straight, so I'll punch a hole here and here on either side of that fold line. This edge is not straight, so I won't do that one. This edge is straight across, there's no angle, so we'll put a uh, hole punch there, hole punch there. Skip that one because it's got an angle. Hole punch here, hole punch there. So really it's every other fold line. You can use either ribbon or yarn or jute or whatever you'd like to string through there. I'm going to use some ribbon. All right. We'll just start weaving this in. I'll get it started and then I'll turn the camera back off because it might take me a while. You go in and out of each hole. I'm going to turn this off while I finish weaving around. Okay, with the ends on the outside of the umbrella, I'm going to tighten it up a little bit and tie a beautiful, maybe beautiful bow. Now on the inside 
because I'm just going to use this as a decoration to hang from the ceiling, I'm just going to use a little tissue paper to put down inside. So that the handle will stay in the middle. so that they are evenly spaced. Now when this hangs from the um, from the ceiling fan or from the ceiling or whatever, it's just really adorable. Or with the tissue you could get a fun color and put in there and then just lay it on the table too. It's really cute. And then how fun! You, it's so easy to make. Now we'll do a different size, like a nut cup size. Okay, this paper for like a nut cup or a little, little goodies or whatever, favor. Um, this paper is six inches by six inches, a square. So I will fast, and this is going to be my outside. This has got um, a pattern on both sides, but I want the flowers on the outside. So the right side up, fold it in half, and now the rest of this is going to be in really fast motion since we've already done one. Here goes. Okay, now I'm going to put, I don't have nuts, so we'll use some other candy <laughs> to put in this nut cup. And I want to poke a hole, have the pipe cleaner go right through the middle of this saran wrap. And gather this up. Oh, I need a little bit of ribbon. of the pipe cleaner we'll put in the middle of the umbrella. Do our little top knot so it won't come through. Now I need to string the string through. Oops, I'm going to go this way. And now I'm going to trim some of the saran wrap so you can see the handle of oh, the umbrella. And the candy won't fall out. And then space these equally. And look how cute that is. Isn't that so, so cute? little decoration party favor for a baby shower if you used pink little umbrellas for a girl and blue little umbrellas for a boy and for a, a wedding shower with the wedding colors with the ribbon and the paper. The possibilities are endless and you can make it any size too. The last idea I wanted to show you is with an eight and a half by eleven size sheet of paper you can cut that square so that it's eight and a half by eight and a half and 
And then for, I'm gonna say a Mother's Day card, on the back white side that would be the inside of the umbrella, you can write a note. Dear Mom, you are the best mom ever. I love you, exclamation point, love your daughter. Okay, hopefully you can come up with a better note than that, but you could write um, a nice letter in there and then fold it and turn it into an umbrella Happy Mother's Day card. And here's the cute little card umbrella. I tied it up tighter. I didn't put any candy in that one, so, so I cinched up the ribbon a little. Well, it's yarn on this one. <laughs> a little tighter. And then it just folds up really nicely, and you can just put it in an envelope if you want to mail it as a card. And it doesn't have to be for Mother's Day, but it could be an Easter card, Mother's Day card, um, back to the baby shower, wedding shower, or wedding, or whatever could use it for a lot of different things but it makes a really cute card that way too and so when they open up the string dun, 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 then there's the letter on the inside so cool huh